good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're gonna be talking about the 6 uh good bad indifferent i don't know but uh i'll let y'all come to that decision so i just got back in the 300 um had to go do some stuff with this and uh well i got back here now i need to get the truck i need to go do some stuff with the truck so i'm gonna run in here in the house grab a few things uh, we're gonna hit the road in the truck and uh like I said, when you get this stuff done, I can get back and get in the car, go do some stuff in the car that I also need to get done. And it's just a busy day. So let's get after it here and uh, let's get this video underway. All right. So we're over here, the other side of Conway. Um, had to come over here and do a few things with the truck. Um, if y'all remember the 300 video, I mentioned being in the 300, hopping in the truck to go do the few things I needed to do here with the truck. And uh, I'm going back now to get back to the 300 and come back to Conway to do some stuff with the 300. Um, it's not very well suited for the truck. Um, yeah, this is the same day and here we are over here on the nice part of Conway. I do like to drive through over here every now and then, look at all the nice houses and kind of let it be a bit of a motivator. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but one thing I will say about the truck that I really really do enjoy is the ability to just cruise it You can see right now we're just cruising You know My speedometer is not correct by the way um, I figured that out with the GPS app on the other phone um, <laughs> So um, That is that the speedometer is not correct, but Speed limit is 35 truck says we're doing 35 and we should be fairly close at a lower speed like this um but as far as like you know low speed just cruising along the truck does great now one thing if you notice my steering wheel it's a little crooked um we never got it fully adjusted um <laughs> uh, but the steering wheel is or the steering itself anyway is getting a little bit wandery so uh that is something i do need to do is um we're gonna upgrade the steering on this at some point i think for right now we're just gonna get some new uh tie rod ends and all the ends and uh, replace all of those that way it drives good and then at some point i'm gonna upgrade the steering uh probably with synergy and um go ahead and change that stuff out and then uh you know if we do the synergy steering i'm probably gonna powder coat it so we'll have some more color up under the front end of this truck. Um, but the cruisability of this truck was something that I harped on with doing the build. And uh, it's fantastic. So drivability wise, it's been great. I've been daily driving this truck. I mentioned in the 300 video. I haven't drove the 300 in like a month now because I've been just enjoying the truck. And the truck does such a good job and it really doesn't cost me any more to drive this than the 300 other than the wearables like tires um but like fuel wise the truck does really really well it actually i believe gets a few more miles per gallon than the 300 does which is amazing to me um and diesel now is only i think i paid 2.99 a gallon for gas this morning and uh 317 for diesel yesterday so you know cost wise it's not really that much different um so if the truck does better on fuel than the car and diesel is not that much more expensive then you know let's drive the truck the truck's a lot more fun uh, the truck's a little more i wouldn't say difficult to drive it kind of is it kind of ain't um 300 is definitely easier but i love the truck so it's uh drivable wise it drives fantastic and then like getting up to highway speeds here and this is by no means full throttle that's just kind of rolling into it and let it run and uh well as you can see here highway speeds cruising fantastic so 
like I said, I really have no complaints about the truck. I am kind of used to the power now, so I, I do want to make more power with the truck. But all in all, guys, I really, I really have no complaints with the truck. Uh, the truck does fantastic. Um, it runs smooth, and that's something that me and Matt over at Blessed Performance had talked about when we dyno the truck. He said this is a really smooth running truck. And uh, that is something I'm very, very happy about. So, um, anyway, though, we are headed back to the house. I do have a bunch of stuff in the bed that will get unloaded. Um, and then I got to hop in the 300. We're going to bring it back to Conway, do a few things with it. And then I got to be home or back at the house in the next 30 minutes um, <laughs> for some other stuff that I got to do, which is fantastic but um anyway guys i wanted to go ahead and start the video here that way y'all could get a little bit of clips with the truck driving and also we are still planning to put this truck on street tires uh we might reverse level it depending on what size street tires we do and what wheels we end up doing uh, but i do want to put this truck on streets make a little bit more power out of it and uh keep it as a good driver truck um, because right now I have zero complaints about the drivability of the truck other than the roads around here um, and the steering looks like I said the steering's getting a little wandering um, and it is scooping my front tires so now that they are scooped it does death wobble a little bit at slower speeds if you hit a bump the right way um, but that's not that's not really the truck's fault. Uh, I do need to rotate them anyway, but I figure we will wait until we get new tie rod ends at least. Uh, that way that's not an issue. So anyway, guys, I will catch y'all back at the house and uh, we will end out the video there. Alrighty guys. So we have made it back to the house. Um, oh, and it is bright outside. It's a nice thing about having tent. You know. Anyway, uh, <coughs> I'm still sick. If you were wondering, I haven't been unsick in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> but the truck, like I said, the truck does fantastic. Uh, I have absolutely no complaints about the truck, um, except for, like I said, the uh, steering hitting. A little loose um we'll get that taken care of i know what i need uh, i ordered it and then they canceled my order and then i ordered it again and they canceled it again and i ordered it through a different company and then they canceled it so i don't know what's going on i have money i'm, I'm not broke um <laughs> but i don't know what's the deal i guess nobody wants money i don't understand what's what's happening uh but anyway uh, like I said, I do still want to put this thing on streets. I just don't know which wheels they're, we're doing. Um, I might do these. I might do those over there. I don't know. Or I might sell these and get something else. I, I don't know. I haven't decided uh, what I want to do. But uh, same thing with this. Wheels for this. I don't know if I want to keep these. Or if I want to throw the 22s on it. And if I do the 22s, do I powder coat them? If I do, do I do all of them one color? Or do I two-face the car like I really would like to do? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of what-ifs. But um, the truck is fantastic. I do love the truck. Um, like I said, no complaints about the truck other than steering. And the steering, you know, a couple hundred bucks will fix that. So I'm not too, too concerned with it either. Um... So, that is that. But like I said, I do kind of want to throw some streets on it, reverse level it, pull the lift off the front, reverse level it, uh, set it down, make some more power, you know, a couple hundred more horsepower, and uh, just have a fun street truck is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but depending on if I do these wheels or those wheels, um, depending on what size tire I do, cause I don't know if I want to do a 33 with a 26, um so if i do a 35 with well, a 14 wide it's probably going to rub 
and uh, well, if I reverse level, it's only going to get worse. So that is uh, that is that. Uh, I do want to. I don't know if I reverse level it. These are these are leaving the chat. Um, so that's kind of why I want to reverse level it. And the reason I'm not taking these off. Yes, I can get in the truck without the steps. It's not an issue. The issue is, is I don't want people sliding in and out of my seats and uh, destroying them. So that's that. But anyway, guys, that's, uh, and actually speaking of, I've already had somebody kind of mess this seat up over here because they refused to use the steps to get in and out of the truck. And uh, yeah, real great. So anyway, that's um that's to figure out i think what i want to do is we're going to see if we can fix those wheels and if we can fix those wheels i'm going to take get them unmounted or dismounted throw them on the truck see what we're looking like see how well i like them um I'm going from a 24 12 to a 26 14 uh, they have 40s on them right now and i'm not running 40s so um we can go from there as far as far as what we want to do and then we can also decide do i want to just have those as like a show setup and then uh you know keep these on the truck for day-to-day -day driving but then i'll have to buy two sets of tires which is probably not a great idea i don't know we'll see we'll figure all that out later but <clears throat> anyway guys that is going to be a wrap for this one so if y'all are curious of why i don't really drive the 300 much anymore well it's because i absolutely love the truck the truck's fantastic um now with that being said with that being said uh, if y'all remember the high country the high country makes me want a newer truck and the driver of the high country well she also is kind of like pushing me to get a newer truck because i've talked about wanting a newer truck so uh i don't know we might get a newer truck by the end of the year we'll uh we'll see but anyway guys that's gonna be a wrap for this one so with that being said, if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like, comment down below, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.